a long, long. We're back. After a long, long break, the show for Cameron Aki Sports is back to give you the latest in camera sports news. I'm Michael Fajay. And I'm Jacob Russell. Today we have coverage of the first Aggie Showdown Cross Country Meet, Cameron Sports Going Global, and coverage of women's volleyball. Let's go in the huddle. In a world filled with Facebook statuses and Twitter updates, Cameron University Athletics decided to join the social networking party. Launching the Aggies Communication 2.0 campaign, Cameron's athletic department opened accounts on Facebook and Twitter. This was a move made in an attempt to make the CU Athletic website one of the best in the NCAA. Aggie fans can now get their updates on their favorite sports on these social networks. In addition, fans can read up-to-date blogs posted by all of the Aggie head coaches. For more information, log on to goaggies.cameron.edu and click on the blog, Twitter, Facebook link. Well, Jacob, what are your thoughts on this new Cameron Going Global campaign? Uh, you know what? I think it's a great way. You've seen a lot of the larger schools and institutions kind of utilize this as a tool. And it helps in recruiting. As of this moment in time, there's not any kind of right. controlling regulations over that. So kind of coaches have used it to their advantage. I think it's going to be a great thing. Um, I guess Cross Country got the first chance to do that, posting their first big win Saturday. Definitely. Yeah, Cameron University's Cross Country team hosted the first ever Aggie Showdown Cross Country Meet this past weekend at the Big Green Soccer Complex. The Cross Country team hosted both high schools and colleges from across the region at the showdown. The team defended their home turf and won the showdown's college race. Sophomore Julius Karur placed first in the showdown. Senior Josh Stewart and sophomore Mohamed Kalafala finished second and third respectively. Head coach Matt Aguero said that he was very pleased with the results from the meet. The team's next meet is on October 3rd in Stillwater. They will compete at the Oklahoma State Cowboy Jamboree. The Aggies women volleyball team started the fall 09 season on a tear. Record after competing in the Arkansas Tech Spike Fest Tournament, the Abilene Christian Wildcat Invitational, and the Nebraska Omaha Tournament respectively. Senior Seta Laura Ellibrock leads the team in assists by averaging 10 per match and was named Lone Star Conference Best Setter of the Week for the week of September the 8th. Sophomore outside hitter Melissa Acton leads the team in total kills with 167. Sophomore outside hitter Addie Lawson has been a catalyst for the defense by averaging four digs per match. With us now is the head coach of women's volleyball, Coach Brian Smedley. Coach Smedley, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. So far, congratulations on a successful season so far. 10-2 record, a great start opposed to the 9-5 record you had in non-conference last year. We had in the huddle congratulate you on that. What has been the difference this year so far with the team? I think a huge thing is that I'm no longer a new coach for all of the players. You know, we had quite a few returners right. who knew my system, so it wasn't an entire team needing to learn new things. So that's definitely been nice, having returners who already knew the system. And then I think everyone just was a lot more focused this year and wanting to start off great. The energy has been good in practice, and everyone seems to be focused on the same goal. So I'm very pleased with how things have started. You mentioned the focus. You had a lot of freshman players last year, players like Melissa Acton, Addie Lawson, Nikita Abbott. How has their development helped to this early success? Well, last year, the first tournament, they definitely seemed a little nervous out there. And this, this year, first tournament, they were ready to go and were leaders out there instead of kind of the followers that they were last year. So it's really nice to have girls who are that young and being leaders out on the court. You also have some senior leadership as well. You had players like Haley Hatch, Winnie Long last year. Talk about what uh, Pazook, uh, Carol, players like that have been able to contribute for senior leadership this year. Well, they've all done a really good job of you know setting an example, starting in practice of you know the t sort of things that we want to accomplish and the sort of attitude that we want to have out there. And they definitely want to go out their senior year getting wins and beating some teams that they haven't beaten. So when they step out on the court, I can definitely see kind of a drive right. from them. And it's good because everyone seems to be following that. You had a 10-2 record now. Last year you had a 9-5 record going into conference play. And you ended the season 5-8 and eight in conference. 
What can you change this year heading into conference play as you play Midwestern this Thursday? Well, I think what's been really beneficial for us this preseason is playing some emotional matches and some five-set matches that we've come through with a win on. Conference last year, we had some five-set matches that did not go our way, and I think having been successful with them in preseason is going to help us prepare because I know we're going to have some battles in conference this year. Everyone has stepped their game up. So I think with us accomplishing that during preseason, it's going to make things easier for us, and the girls will know how to play with the right sort of emotion. Your offense has been somewhat spectacular this year. Ella Brock was named best hitter of the week uh, the last couple of weeks. She's been setting up teammates for kills. How has that offensive unit been able to be so successful so far? Well, um, we've worked really hard in service even defense, and we're putting up some nice passes for Laura to be able to you know, deliver to our hitters. And I think what's made it so successful is that all of our hitters are setting up or getting kills for us. She's doing a very good job of spreading the offense around and making the blockers on the other side a little confused right. about where we're going to be going, and that's helped our offense put balls down. You have one player on the team that's a senior, Amber Schroer. She played basketball last year and made the transition to volleyball. What has that trans transition been like? How has she helped the team so far? Well, she joined us last spring, but only got to practice, I think, about 10 practices right. um, before heading into the summer. And she worked really hard this summer in getting into volleyball shape. Volleyball shape is very different from basketball. We have a lot more jumping and things like that. So. Um, she did a great job, and she's really making the transition. She continues to improve every day. She wants to learn. She wants to be there. So it's great to have someone like that. And like I said, every day her skills improved, and she's definitely stepped on the court and helped us out in some, some serious situations, and we definitely like having her out there. You head to Wichita Falls Thursday for a matchup against Midwestern. What's the mindset going into that conference matchup? The girls are really excited about starting conference and especially out with Midwestern. Um, as soon as the match was over on Saturday, the girls said they couldn't wait to get down to Wichita Falls and play Midwestern. They're definitely ready. And like I said, we've had some really important matches that I think have gotten us ready. Midwestern's always an emotional match. Um, you know, the crowds are into it. So I definitely think that the girls are ready and they're anxious to get down there. We hope we have a lot of fans that will come down and watch. In addition to this team, you also have a new grad assistant that you brought in this year. How she helped, uh, here she was a former player of yours, how has she been able to help this team? She was, she played for me at Berry College and so what's really nice is, she, again, she already knows my system, she knows what to expect and Sean was a great libero, um, she was the libero of the year in the conference and so she has definitely taken our serve receive and our defense and just run with it and right. she controls that aspect of our game and coaching the girls and I can definitely rely on her to step up and give them the sort of coaching that they need on that end. And so she has far exceeded what I wanted her to do, so I'm very excited. Last question, your first home matchup is this weekend for the Aggie Fall Classic. What was the concept behind putting this classic tournament together and what's the mindset going in for the fans? Well, we, you know, we wanted to get a couple home matches in um, before we had a home conference. And, you know, it's great when you can have a couple teams, you know, come in here and battle it out. And Arkansas Fort Smith is definitely a tough team. They were a top 10 JUCO program, so they're really strong. And Oklahoma City University is a great um, NAIA program. So it's definitely a tough tournament. Um, we definitely wanted to play some good teams just to help get us ready for conference even more. And we want to have as many fans come out. We're having alumni match afterwards. So any alumni that can come back and play, they're going to be playing each other afterwards. So it's just going to be a great day of Cameron Volleyball. And we hope that lots of people will come out and support us and kind of see what it's all about and see how exciting it can be. We look forward to this weekend at the Aggie Fall Classic Tournament. Thank you, Coach Melly, for joining us today. We appreciate you. And in the huddle, wishes you and the team a good season this year. Thank you. All right. That's a wrap for today's show. To watch this episode of In the Huddle or more CU TV programming, go to YouTube.com and type in CU Internet TV with no spaces. Viewers can watch the latest episodes of This Week in SGA, Top of the Hour, and CU TV News. For more sports news and updates, log on to CU's athletic website, goaggies.cameron.edu. You can also pick up the latest edition of the Cameron Collegian for feature sports stories and sports news. Thanks to the CU TV crew for their help in making this show possible. For Jacob Russell and the CUTV crew, I'm Michael Faget. We'll see you inside the huddle.